Hello there, Easy Electrical Fix here. I have a two LED light here. Both are the same LED light, T8 glass tube light here. But do you know these two LED light have a different wiring and different component here? So in this video, we're going to find out the LED light wiring and the components. Let's get started. I have a LED light here. So when I put inside the bulb holder and screw it to the right direction, and it's worked just perfectly fine, no problem here. Now, I have another LED light here. When I put inside the LED bulb holder and screw it to the right direction also, but no lights. So let's see what's the problem over here with this LED light. When try to light up the both LED light here, the LED light with the white cover working, but the LED light with the silver color is not working. So let's see inside of the both LED light wirings and do a proper LED light wiring with the different LED light over here so it won't blow up when you use the different types of LED light here. For this type of LED tube, the wiring is the end, at the end of the LED tube is neutral and connected to the main wire of the neutral here and the other end of the LED tube is connected to the life and connect the wires to the life main there. So this is the most common type of the LED wiring used often in homes and buildings here and it's, the wiring is very simple. While this type of LED light here will not work for this kind of wiring configuration for these lights. Even try to put inside the bulb holder, the light will not work. So let's see inside the wiring specification for this LED tube light here. This is the specification for this type of LED light here. The specification is pretty similar to the other LED light here. But let's further look in the specification. It's not for double light. Uh, so there is the important specification over there, the wiring there. So it tells the there's a main input here, and the life and neutral incoming wire will connect through the two pin over there. So when we look at the pin, there's also already got the label life and neutral there. So this is the reason why this type of LED wiring is not suitable for this type of LED tube here. So let's make an LED wiring for this type of LED tube. And make it light up. I got a LED tube socket here. It's called non-shorted here. So it will separate between a life neutral pin here and can connect directly to the life neutral main over here. So I'm gonna use this socket here to connect to the LED bulb to the main there. Now I'm preparing for the LED tube light wiring here. So I connect the this non-shorted LED tube socket here for T8 and connect life neutral directly to the socket there from the main and now it's time for testing. I already done the wiring for this LED tube light here with the specification noted in this LED tube light here. Hope it will work. And with the same wiring configuration stated in the LED tube light specification below, I'm going to put inside the tube light here in the bulb holder. So important is don't put the LED tube in other way around. So it will spoil your LED light and will trip the breaker. Always put the right direction and spin in the right direction and turn on the switch and the LED light is turned on. So this LED light tube wiring is suitable for this type of LED tube. But remember, once this tube light running in this kind of wiring here, it will not suitable for other types of LED tube here like in this LED tube with the white cap cover here. Even you use this type of wiring for this LED right here, it would blow up. So don't try. There is a other reason too why LED tube light have a different wiring configuration. This is because there's a two types of LED tube light bulb socket here. So on my left is a non-shunted socket here. And at the left side of the socket is called shunted socket here. So let's go through what is a non-shunted and shunted socket here. This non-shunted bulb socket here has only two pin, life and neutral. And these both pins are separated, not connected together. On the other hand, this is the shunted socket here. The shunted sockets are both pin of both pin is already connected together and is not suitable for other types of LED tube light here. This is what looks like inside the bulb socket here. So this non-shunted bulb socket here, the both pins are separated for life and neutral or other terminal here. So this is suitable for LED tube light wiring here. For other tube light also, possible. 
Now this is what looks like inside the shunted bob socket here. The both pins are connected together with the bypass of this thin copper here in the middle of the pin there. So this is what makes this copper is connected together and it's not suitable for all types of lights. To find out what type of a bulb socket here for LED tube lights. So we're going to use multimeter here. So this multimeter select the multimeter range into continuity and put the red probe and the black probe inside the shunt, non shunted bulb holder there. So there's no beep sound or reading reading here. So this is confirmed. This bulb socket is non shunted means not the pins are not connected connected together. So for the shunted socket here, when we put the pin here, it will give a reading and the beep sound there. So this is confirmed a shunted here is not suitable for all types of LED light wiring. For demonstration purpose, I am going to use this shunted bulb socket here connected to the life and neutral going to test this LED tube light here so let's see what's happened when I connected to the power source with this LED type of wiring here I'm using this type of LED here and insert into the shunted bulb socket and turn into the right direction and see what's happened when I turn on the supply and it gets short circuit and trip the main breaker at the main distribution board there so this bulb socket is not suitable for this type of LED wiring here and the bulb also. Finally, this is the end of the video here. So you guys know about the LED tube light wiring and the types of the LED tube light bulb socket there. So hope this video will helpful for you. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe and comment down below what's the next electrical content video you want me to do. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you next time.